All right, the time has come. We are going to do a bathroom overhaul. You can see this vanity I built. That top is going to go. We got. We're going with a little bit of a different design. All this floor has got to come out, and then in the process of all this, I have to make a door for that and a door for the linen closet. So we're going to make the doors to match that with the rusted tin. So somewhere along the video, I'll show you how to buy the tin new and make it look rusted. But first, we got to tear this floor out. So uh, we'll get back to you after that's done. All right, now you can see what we're doing here. This old floor was, uh, you know, that cheap peel and stick stuff we stuck down over. This was a cheap floor, only like 50 or 60 bucks or something like that. But the problem was it left a lot of the glue on the underlayment and it was real sticky. So a lot easier to work with and install a new floor when it's not sticky like that. The new floor doesn't glue down, it's just a floating floor. So took a bunch of baby powder, spread it around all over the floor. Now we're just gonna sweep it all in and get rid of the sticky. And then uh, after that's all solved, then we'll just take the shop back, vacuum this all up, and it'll be just like a brand new underlayment with no glue on it. So, all right, after this is done, we're gonna get starting on uh, installing the new floor. All right, well, we're almost halfway done. Around the corner there, I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna get this done, get the closet done, get the vanity back in place. At some point after the vanity's in, I'm going to have to make a run to the store to get parts for the drain because the new sink configuration is different than the old one. So rather than running right now for a wax ring for the toilet and then again later for the parts for the drain, I'll just wait until it shows up. I got the sink in place, then I'll go and get everything and then I'll pull the toilet and do that. But anyways, installing this stuff, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a bigger lip on the outside. If you look on the back side, there's no padding right here. This locks together. And it's actually not, it's not hard to install. Put this up here like that and just kind of give it a, a little bit of a tap. Now, this piece here where it meets this, this piece has a groove in it that's like, like a C, like this. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to tap it and it's going to slide in there. And that will hold this together. That's how it was before. I mean... That's the first time I've ever done it. I mean, the old floor was like that too, but it never came up. It gets inside this groove and it just stays there. So I'm going to roll with that because, I mean, if I have to, I'll add a strip here. I prefer not to. But when you want to slide these things around, take a piece of scrap that's got the right groove on it. Just kind of lay it in there like that. Give this a tap. And that is sliding right into there, right where we want it to be. That way, that other piece is going to kind of keep, it'll keep this from wanting to come up. It's right in that groove. So that'll be that. And then, of course, you know, cutting this stuff, this stuff's easy to cut. It, this is a thicker vinyl made for bathrooms and stuff, but uh, some of the thinner stuff you can just cut with a knife. You can just score it and snap it. This stuff's a little bit on the thick side, so you can cut this with a regular circular saw, a jigsaw, a chop saw, whatever. But let me get a measurement, and I'm going to cut this piece. This is going to be 47 and 38. Alright, I'm going to go get this cut. I'm going to get the rest of this in. And then when uh, it comes time for the new sink and all that stuff, I'll bring you back and kind of show you our new countertop, our new sink, all that good stuff. So uh, we'll catch you here in a little bit whenever the sink arrives. All right, the floor is done. Toilet's back in. Now I got to deal with that. I got a new top on there that I made. I'm going to have to place my sink up here and see where I'm going to make the holes at. So. I will uh, get you some video once that's all back up so you can see everything that's going on. And then at some point we'll have to uh, make the door for here and the one for there. Cover up the furnace and then uh, we'll trim all this out and paint it. It's hard to video in the bathroom. It's, it's kind of small, you know. But we'll be back in a flash. I'll show you what kind of sink we got and all that good stuff. Alright, the floor is all done. 
Vanity is back in, new sink is in. That is what we're going with now. So hopefully that will be that. But uh, everything's done behind the toilet. Now we just need to make the doors, trim this out, and throw a coat of paint on it. Hey everybody! Um, so Tim finished the bathroom. Well, quasi finished the bathroom. So here is the big reveal. that he did. I didn't clean yet. He like just finished and then we had he did his surgery. The blue looks really nice. And then it's the same color we used for our trim in the living room and stuff. But he also so we couldn't build the doors yet because he's gonna make them. <clears throat> so he put shelves in for me at least because I've been after him for like four years to get it done. And uh, so yeah, let's see, so this is our own new faucet and sink. And then I already had that little truck so I was like, oh that would be cute. And then Tim got paint everywhere in the toilet so we're going to clean that up. But he's recovering well. and. Um, so this concludes our video for the bathroom. I just love my new shower curtain. Let me see if I can come back. To I just love it. Okay. All right. That's it. So I'll have a good night. Okay. I had to come back. I wanted to add this cabinet here. The door. That's what those doors are going to look like. So he's going to build them because we like the rustic look and he built this vanity and rusted the tin out <clears throat> and uh, he actually built the whole thing and um, so the doors for the linen closet and then behind that door is where the furnace thing is. Um, he's going to build these type of doors similar to this to, to go there and there. So that's what they're going to look like, but he had to have the surgery and um, didn't have time to, to build it. So um, so that's all. I just wanted to come back and let you guys know instead of leaving and like, what's the door it's going to look like? So, oh, and then um, our little sign. And then I got to get new towels to, oh, no, we don't want that. <laughs> Um, we have to get new towels, so we're going to probably go with a gray because it's going to go kind of with the the tin and then the floors are kind of like a gray too. So maybe like a slight gray or something, I don't know. But um, that's it for real this time. Bye!